I'm going to work through the solution to number 2 on page 443 where we're going to use the method of cylindrical shells to find the volume of the solid generated by taking this region and rotating it around the y-axis. Once again, to do the method of shells, we simply need to evaluate the integral of 2 pi times the radius, which is x, times the height, which is the top function minus the bottom function. In this case, the lower bound is y equals 0, so we simply have to put in the top function, which is 2 minus x squared over 4. Our limits of integration are going to be on the x-axis. And for this problem, they go from 0 to 2. Let me label these on my x-axis. And I'll also put them here on my integral. Trying out my new little bamboo tool tablet feature. So I'm going to put some color in there too. So once again, this is a pretty uh, standard antiderivative that we're going to need to do. Let me factor out the 2 pi and distribute the x. So we're going to have to do the antiderivative of 2x minus x cubed over 4. And once again, we're going still from 0 to 2 on the x-axis. Well, we can simply do the antiderivative here of x squared, is, or of 2x is x squared, excuse me. And the antiderivative of x cubed over 4 is x to the 4th over 16. We still have the 2 pi in there. And again, we're going from 0 to 2. And when I plug in 0, everything's going to be gone, so I only have to worry about the 2. It's 2 pi times 2 squared is 4 minus four, uh, 2 to the 4th is 16 over 16. 4 minus 1 is 3, and so 3 times 2 pi is 6 pi. I missed it. And with that, we are done.